And welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has the word on the street with sass and beauty to match. And she is turning it up this season on The Real Housewives of Potomac. Oh, Take yeah. Look. Ashley, have you thought about Robin's family and how... I don't, please, I don't want to do this. Okay. I don't, okay. I don't want to hear anything else out of her mouth about my family. I'm okay. not going to say anything else. My issue is with you. What is the issue? What have I done to you? Ooh. My God, my God, my God. Please welcome my Bravo sister, <laughs> yes. the lovely Giselle Bryant. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Wow. <laughs> I'm in the A. Yes, you're in the A. I <laughs> my love you. God, what is happening with my sore world, uh, Robin? What is uh, happening? Is, that's right. Congratulations, Thank by the way. You. I yeah. saw Thank all, you so the, much. all the Delta stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Do we care? <laughs> um, Robin, really, people, for whatever reason, want to be in Robin's business. And Robin's Why? the kind of person like, don't start and I won't be, be none. none. Correct. Yes. But when you start, they're going to be some. Right. right. So I don't know. Ashley really has decided to just be in her business from 15 years ago. Mm. Nobody what? cares Who what cares happened. what happened? I, Ashley is a different person than she was 15 years ago. At least I would hope so. I, it's I called hope so. growth. Yes. Yeah. Yes. My God, but speaking of growth, <laughs> yes. You are being the, the peacemaker this season. Look at that. I know, because honey, you, you, you was all up and through. <laughs> <laughs> the season just like, started. The season just started. Give me some time. Um, but I really felt like we weren't having fun. Mm. Yes. You know, the season had just started. We had just started filming. Everybody's at each other's necks. Yeah. So I really felt like, come on, y'all, let's get together. Let's eat some fried chicken mm -hmm. and macaroni and cheese. Yes. Mm -hmm. And come to a better place so we can have fun again. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It really hurts uh, a season when it starts off so dark and yes. so heavy. Yeah. Uh, because you kind of get stuck in a rut. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's not entertaining anymore. Yeah. It, right. it, just, it just isn't. And guess what? The viewers don't want to see that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They do want to see us have a good time and understand what the friendships mm -hmm. are all about. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. But does Ashley have her own business? Wasn't she having some challenges with her husband? And what is? Well, why do people? Ain't in Ashley's well, business. I mean, if you're gonna marry a <laughs> just man, just return the favor. Yeah, if you're gonna marry a man 30 years older than you, of course oh. you're gonna have some problems no, now. That's not bad. But she does have a restaurant, and that's doing very well now. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, they had struggled with it in the beginning, but now they're fine. Of okay. course. Yes. So she has a lot and, to be. Right. Yes. And Ashley with. takes a turn through the season. Y'all gonna love good. Ashley in the very end. Very good. good. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Not very other good. people though. All right. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, you've taken a turn <laughs> in your in your. Life, your personal life. Yeah. Oh, yes. Boyfriend. Yes. Now. Yes. And, and everything. Your divorce was very, very public. What made you decide to go ahead and let this play out um, <sighs> on television? And are you being? How much more careful are you being? You know, this time around. Um, very careful. Mm -hmm. And you know, he is not really a fan of being on television mm -hmm. and having his personal life exposed to the world. He's a private guy. Okay. So it is tough. Mm -hmm. It is tough. But you know, in, in true Bravo fashion, mm -hmm. you got to show it all. Yes. <laughs> so, and he's a former NBA player. So do you guys like watch the playoffs together? Or yes. Are you into that? Yeah, well, uh, Philly, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling for, for the Sixers. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all okay. yes. balling. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good, good. Yeah, because DC is out. The Wizards are gone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Good stuff. Did you have any hesitation with bringing your new relationship onto the cameras? Because we yeah. know that it can be challenging, it can be taxing, as you already noted, he, yeah. he's really not into it. Yeah, absolutely. How do, you, how do you expect to protect it, Giselle? Right. Um, it's, it's tough, and you know, once everybody wants to scrutinize, everybody mm -hmm. wants to give their opinion, and you really just have to be careful, and you know this, about what you're going to show and yeah, expose. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you really have to be okay with everybody's opinion. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm always That's good with good. that. I don't care what anybody has to say, but he's not that, he's not built like that. Mm -hmm. okay. He does care. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, let's talk about your daughters and how they've been able to kind of grasp this whole mommy's dating again. <laughs> yes. She's no longer single. What are you telling them or how are they uh, adjusting? Let me tell you something. My daughters <laughs> have been trying to get me to date somebody forever. Uh, oh, okay, mm, good. That's yeah, good. they've never, they don't remember, you know, me and um, their dad divorced when they were babies. So okay. they don't remember male, female in the house. Right, So right. they really would like to see that. Yeah. Yeah. How do you protect them, you know, social media wise? Because some people may come for their, from their, for their mom. And well, before I started the show, I said to them, look, not everybody's going to like your mommy. Okay. They're going to mm -hmm. say some crazy things about mm -hmm. me and how do you all feel. Yes. And they said, 
Mommy, we love you and we know who you are. Right. So they were totally fine with it, but they do not have social media. Good. Oh, I've not wow. allowed them to have it. And my daughter's, my oldest is 13. My twins just turned 12 yesterday. Happy birthday, Happy Angel birthday. and Adore. Yeah. But I don't allow them to have it. Cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My daughter just got a phone, and so I'm, I'm out, she's 11. Yeah. So no social media as well. It's, yes. it's too soon. Yeah. The phone was already enough. Yes. Yeah. Social media can be the devil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to protect them, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I want to switch gears a little bit and talk mm -hmm. about every hue beauty. <laughs> I remember when you launched it here in yes. LA. You went on a tour. You did it in LA. You did it here yeah. uh, with our, our other sister, Nene Lee. Yes. And it was a huge success. I hear it's in Target now. It is in Look Target you. Quad. Yes. <laughs> so quad. You, I, you know, thank you because you supported from the very beginning. Oh, absolutely. And I truly appreciate that. It is, it hasn't been, uh, every Hue Beauty is less than a year old. Wow, that's and, amazing. you know, we've really decided, okay, what's the need in the beauty industry? Because mm -hmm. the beauty industry is so saturated. Yes. Mm -hmm. But Target has really been getting it right when it comes to hair care. They meet our needs. Um, so they decided to really launch into the beauty world and meet the needs of the customers that are coming in the door, and that's us. Yes. We're coming yeah. in the door. And we need stuff that represents us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like every hue. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll have more with Giselle when we return. We're gonna talk about every hue a little yes. bit more. Yes. I'll stay there. <laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, and we are back with The Real Housewives of Potomac, Giselle yes, Bryant. Yes. And before the break, we were talking yes. about your line, Every Hue. Why was it so important that you create this line for women of color? Mm -hmm. It's, um, you know, I'm a beauty girl, I'm a girly girl, I've mm -hmm. always been playing in makeup, and I've been playing in stuff that does not match my skin tone. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, yeah. So I really wanted to fill that need in the beauty industry, and um, we wanted to start with skin, mm -hmm. we wanted to create a, um, a line in which the tinted moisturizer didn't read purples and yellows right, and blues. Exactly. That it really matched us. Yes. So that's where I wanted to start. And then, you know, we, go, we, we do the highlighter, mm -hmm. the blushes. Mm -hmm. We created a line specifically for Target. Mm -hmm. And we're very proud of it. And it's been received so well. So we're really happy. Good. Yes, May 20th is when we are in over 100 Target stores. Very oh, good. That's yes. Amazing. That's <laughs> you, you know what I have to just say? Go I just got to add this. Giselle, your show uh, has been on for how many? Two, this, two, is, this is season three now. Season three? Yeah. Okay, and you've been on since day one. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so roughly two years, right? Right. In two years, you've been able to expand your brand. Yes. I have to question some of the other ladies that haven't. Well, I'm just saying. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. But I, but I can say that was one of your words of wisdom to me. Like, don't be on a reality television show and just be famous. Mm -hmm. Because how long does that last? Yes. It you doesn't. know, really use your brand to build wealth for you and for your kids. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, so thank you, Quad. I love you, babe. I got your bag, front <laughs> and side. <laughs> Trust me. Yes. I do. So quick with the time. I do, I do. Yes. But, but we're going to stay yeah. on, the, on, the, on the trend of uh, colorism. We yes. talk about colorism here a lot at Sister Circle. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I'm a brown girl, right. clearly. And I think a lot of times in our culture, we kind of just look at it from that perspective, mm -hmm. not really taking in consideration that a, a more fair-skinned black woman could be uh, feeling the same or, or, or experiencing the same things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have you? Absolutely. And I feel like, actually, I get it from within, mm -hmm. from within our culture. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like I've always had to prove that I'm black, black enough. because mm -hmm. I'm light-skinned and I have green eyes. Mm -hmm. um, my mother's black, my father's black. That makes me black. Right. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it does. Yes. You're a black woman. So I shouldn't have to prove to a brown skinned sister that I'm as black as you are, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And that I um, take civil rights. Like it's as if they feel that white people aren't racist against me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they racist against me too. Just, right, right. Just as much as my browner sister. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yes, it is a real thing. Mm -hmm. I think we're moving past it though. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, because we're all right now in the same boat. Yeah, I know. I know yes. We got to get, get out yeah. of here. <laughs> Make sure you check out The Real House of Potomac. It airs on Bravo on Sunday nights. And Every Hue Beauty is in Target stores nationwide. The amazingly beautiful Giselle Bryant. Absolutely. Thank the you. Conversations continue on all social media platforms at sistercircletv.com.